Hi everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC, and in this video, I'll be doing an unboxing of the Corsair SF600 600 watt gold SFX power supply, and why this is still one of the best power supplies you can get for an SFX ITX build. Now, let's just take a look at the box first, and we'll talk about the power supply itself along the way. So, on the back here, you can see the features it lists, and it also shows the efficiency rating and the curve, as well as the fan noise level, which is Quite surprisingly, they put it all the way up at, looks like 35 dBA, which is audible, but it's not super loud. But I have seen some reviews early on where they pictured the box with the dBA rating all the way up to 40, but I think they fixed that because of that. And because of the earlier reviews that said that this power supply was kind of loud, but they must have fixed that. That's why they changed the graph. And here you can see the power supply also has a feature of ultra low noise, which, you know, if they actually fix that i'll see it and i'll hear it when i actually use this power supply but yeah on the top you can also see the uh, power cable connectors that's included on this power supply and being that this is an sfx itx built power supply there really isn't much and you can see the lengths are quite short for each cable although i do i do uh wish that they included more pcie connectors for graphics cards because Sometimes you do use a high powered graphics card in an ITX build and you know having just two six plus two pins is not quite enough sometimes for a really high end graphics card. But yeah, this is an 80 plus gold 600 watt power supply from Corsair and let's take a look inside. So you can see this is a really small box, barely uh, just under the size of two of my hands and there's a brown box inside and we'll just pop that open and see what the power supply it looks like. So here we go. If you haven't noticed already, this power supply has tiny everything, even the packaging and the amount of cable that's included inside. So there's a, a I guess inf important information and also a user manual for the power supply, which is the SF 600 and 450. They're basically the same platform, just different capacities. You got a power cable and a bundle of uh, connectors for the power supply itself. As, as, I, as I said before, the cables are really short for being an SFX power supply, but that's not really a problem. That's actually a plus. And you also get the zip ties and Corsair badge and, you know, screws, all the typical stuff from power supply. And, whoops, we'll see the power supply itself, which, as you can see here, is a really tiny power supply. I mean, this fits basically on the palm of my hand. So this is a really small size. If you've never seen an SFX power supply before and only use ATX, once you get one of these bad boys, you really see how ridiculously small and densely packed these are. As you can see through the vents, everything's basically super cramped in there. And there is a 92mm fan that Corsair's included on the power supply. And it also has this sticker that says basically the fan might not spin on low load, so don't worry about that. The fan itself is, a, I think, an NR092L or something from Corsair that spins up to 4000 RPM. But I don't think it actually spins that fast in actual usage. It's just the maximum rating from what the reviews I've seen are saying. And here's a specification sticker on the side. While well, the other side has a Corsair SF600 branding. It really is a pretty nice looking neat little power supply. The build quality is always impeccable just like any Corsair power supply that I've touched before. As long as they're not the cheapest, you know, VS series or some shit. And those are kind of crap. But yeah, anyways, I've seen the reviews on this power supply. And the reason why I still think this is one of the best ones, even also the reviewers that said it, is because this thing still has one of the best ripple and voltage regulation on any SFX power supplies out there. And yes, the platinum version is out and that's even better, but this is still one of the top uh, three, I think, because I think the only one that competes are the SF600 platinum or the Seasonic SGX650 power supply from Seasonic. That one's also kind of at a ridiculous level of performance but yeah this is the only one i could get and this is still a great power supply which i'm going to be using for my itx ryzen 9 3900x belt that i'll be showing a video of pretty soon hopefully well here's the power connectors that's available for the modular uh, power cables there's uh, three pcie slash cpu connectors two peripheral connectors and also a motherboard uh, 24 pin connector so there really isn't much especially for a 600 watt power supply but like i said it's an itx power supply so that's just how it is, I guess. Even the box is super tiny. But 
yeah that's it for this quick unboxing hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please leave a like and please click subscribe to see more of my future videos thanks for watching